What's up, and welcome back to How to Play Dark Souls. Uh, I'm actually bringing you a live commentary for once, so... That's cool. In today's episode, I'm just going to go over some preparations I've made in the past couple days. I've done a little bit of soul grinding. Not a ton. And, um, again, this is not necessary. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. Um, it can be very useful in upgrading your equipment and making it a lot stronger before going into some of the, the late game areas. But, again, you don't have to do this. You can do this along the way. But I'm just going to show you a good way to do a fairly decent amount of soul grinding um, that is easy um, and that you can kind of split up maybe over a couple of days, you know, 30 minutes a day, an hour a day. And it can really really help you in the long run. So we're here in Anne Orlando, and you'll remember that um, I told you about how easy these Silver Knights are to kill, because they're very easy to repost. Um, again, this is like, it, get, it comes down to like muscle memory, pretty much. Um, once you figure out how to repost these guys, it's, it's really quite easy. But if you follow the path I'm showing you in this video for the soul grinding, you will get in the realm, depending on how far you're willing to go, you can get anywhere between like 24,000 and 27,000 souls in one run of the castle, um, which is pretty good. I mean, you can use those souls to buy a lot of, um, I missed it there. For some reason, it's not as easy to get backstabbed on these guys. I'm really screwing this up. After I told you guys how easy it is. There we go. What was I saying? Um, oh yeah, using those uh, 20, 24, 27,000 souls, whatever that you get, you can buy a lot of large Titanite shards, or um, even twinkling Titanite shards from the uh, blacksmith here in Anne Orlando. And you can use those to upgrade your equipment quite a bit. Now you might notice, like, I'm actually wearing the full um, Elite Knight set now, and I still have the ability to do ninja flips. That's because I've been working on my um, endurance. I got it up to level 70, which is a goal that I had before moving on with the game. And um, the reason I did that, uh, you can see, well obviously I have a lot more defense with the full armor set on now than I did before. But let me just, I guess I should show you my equipment. Um, so I've gotten the Elite Knight set, I've gotten every piece of it at least up to level 6. The, um, the chest plate I got up to level 8. And I think I'm done upgrading that now, because, I mean, I could upgrade it some more and get some more defense and resistances and things like that, but this is not the final set I want to be able to wear. Um, I want to be able to wear the Black Iron Armor set when all is said and done. Right now, it's, I'm still too, like, wearing that, I'll still be too heavy to do my ninja flips. But check out the poise on the black iron armor set. Um, let's see, where is it at? There. Poise, 79. That's quite high. Um, and there's a boss we're going to be fighting in the future where we're going to need as much poise as possible. We're actually going to want to use iron flesh as well, which is a spell that boosts your poise. That way we can just eat attacks, like, they can attack me and it won't stun me at all and I can just keep attacking. Um, and using Estus and things like that, without getting stunned. Um, I can actually move pretty well with this armor right now. I've got like a medium roll, which is not bad for a big heavy set like this. But, um, I like to be able to be a little bit more mobile than that. So, for the time being, I'm going to be wearing the Elite Knight armor set. Um, which will give me good defense and uh, fairly decent poise. I mean, 46 isn't bad or anything, but eventually I'm going to want to upgrade to the Black Knight armor set. Which has some really good um, fire resistance as well. So, that'll be nice for an area coming up. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you. So I have upgraded my lightning washing pole all the way up to plus five. I used the titanite slab that we got um, in the undead asylum in order to do that. Now, some of you have been 
asking me some questions about why are you using the lightning washing pole? Um, like, why did you upgrade it to a lightning weapon? Because when you do that, it doesn't scale with dexterity anymore. Yes, you are correct. Um, if I had just upgraded it as a regular weapon, kind of like the Uchi Katana here, it continues to scale. Actually, let me show you that. So you see here down here at the bottom, the param bonus, the parameter bonus. This weapon scales a B with dexterity, which is pretty good. Meaning the higher your dexterity is, the more damage this weapon does. Now with a lightning wash, a lightning washing pole, which is a washing pole and an uji katana. I've mentioned this before, but they have exactly the same stats, like literally exactly the same, except that the washing pole is heavier. That's the only difference, and it's longer, has a longer reach. Um, it also requires higher strength and dexterity to wield. This one only requires 14 strength and 14 dexterity to use. This one requires 20 strength and 16 dexterity to use. So a lot of people don't like using the, the washing pole because it's heavier. Um, it does the same amount of damage, but it, it takes more to even wield it. Again, the only reason I like wielding this sword is because it makes you look like Sephiroth. It makes you look like a total badass when you have a sword this freaking long. Um, eventually, I'm not going to use this. This is not going to be like my end game weapon. I'm going to continue to upgrade the Uchi Katana and that will probably end up being something I'll use if I start upgrading dexterity again. But you'll notice with my stats, I haven't been upgrading dexterity. So that's why I'm using this right now is because I don't have tons of dexterity to make, you know, a regular weapon with the, um, with the parameter bonus worth using. It's not going to be doing very much damage because my dexterity is not that high because I've been putting all my points into endurance. This is an endurance build. I called it a dex build but I kind of turned it more into an endurance build, if that even exists. A lot of you Dark Souls elitists out there are going to be like, this guy's don't know what you're talking about. And you know what, whatever, I don't care. Um, I really do not care about Dark Souls elitists. I'm playing this game for fun. I really have a good time with it, and I really like um, upgrading endurance. I really like being able to do ninja flips with really heavy armor. I think that's awesome. So that's the way I'm playing the game. Um... Once I finish this run, I might uh, go back and do some different builds, like um, maybe just like a bow only build or something like that. I'll show you other ways to use your stats to make some cool builds. But for now, on this playthrough, I just felt like rolling around with ninja flips with heavy armor. So that's what I'm doing. Anyways, so Uji Katana plus 10, that's as high as I can go right now. We'll go get um, an ember pretty soon that'll let us get that up to plus 15. Um, I've got Quelog's Fury Sword at plus four, so this is a fire-based weapon. Um, that might come in handy in a future area. I can get this up to plus five as soon as I get some more Demon Titanite, and I, I'll show you guys where to find more Demon, uh, Demon Titanite. Um, let's see, I also upgraded... Okay, so in the last video, no, no, two videos ago, when I went to the Undead Asylum and we got the Crest Shield... Um, I remember saying something along the lines of, I don't care about this, but actually I do. Um, and that's why I've upgraded it to plus five, is because it has higher durability and less weight than the Black Knight shield, which is what I'm using right now. Um, so that'll be nice for when I want to try and be a little bit lighter. It still blocks 100% physical damage. It does not do nearly as well against fire and lightning damage, but it has very high defense against magic as well. So switching between these two shields will be nice depending on the situation. Do we need to block magic? Then, you know, equip the crest shield. Do we need to block fire? Equip the black knight shield. Um, if we're just looking to uh, have a lighter set of equipment, but we're just looking to block physical damage, you know, go with the crest shield. So having these two options is going to be really nice. Um, so I've upgraded both of those to plus five. I've graded up uh, the lightning washing pull to plus five, and like I said, all this stuff to plus six or plus eight. So that's what I have done um, off screen. Anyways, you come over here, we got another silver knight. And once you learn their attack patterns, like I said, it's just kind of muscle memory. You'll you really get a feel for how to repose these guys. 
Let's come back this way. And on the second one, we'll get him. Simple. Very, very simple. Alright. Now, there's two of them in here. You don't want to get both their attention, just the one. So just come stand right about there. And hopefully we'll just fight this guy. And then we'll be able to go in and fight the other one. And these guys give about a thousand souls apiece. Some of them give 1300, depending on which Silver Knight you're fighting. So that's pretty good for this point in the game. Let's try that again. If he bashes me with the shield, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Or this flurry of attacks. One or the other. There we go. Let's head back across here. And right here, there's another one. And shield bash me. And then he'll do a stab. Which is always easy to repost. Up the stairs. And do a shield bash. And a stab. Boom. Thing. Oh, the flurry. On the second hit, we get him. Alright. Head downstairs here. And up this way. What I like to do is go to the other side of the room and kill the Silver Knight first, and then go down and kill the Giants. The giants will give you 3,000 souls apiece, the blue ones. And then the uh, the silver ones outside will give you, I think, 1,500 apiece. So when all is said and done, between those four giants, you get like 9,000 souls. Every single time you do a run. Uh, through Interlando. Plus all the silver knights you kill along the way. It's a pretty good amount of souls. Get him to stop shooting me with those arrows. One two. Boom. That's all there is to it. It's so easy, you guys. It's so easy to do soul grinding here. Alright, we only want to fight one of them at a time, so just run to the back as quick as you can, and that guy over there will back up. We'll just have to worry about this one. Get underneath his legs, two-hand your weapon. Oh, come on, I got him. He's going to try and heal, but if you stay underneath him, there's really nothing you can do. So those guys are pretty easy to kill if you just get underneath their legs. Because <laughs> um, they can't really do anything about it. They can't attack you from, from there. They'll end up uh, doing kind of their like big force push, and you have to watch out for that. But they, they it takes them a really long time to cast that. You, you can tell it's coming from quite a long way. Stay underneath him. Keep attacking. He'll keep trying to jump back so that he can heal himself, but they're so slow, it's just like... It's really, really easy. So we got these other two giants left. What I like to do... You don't want to fight them both at once. So I just like to stick to the right and run about halfway out here. Right against the wall, and that'll get his attention and bring him back, but not the other. That way... We can fight them one at a time. Let's get right underneath. And these guys should take about three hits. Back up for this. Ah, I rolled the wrong way. Sometimes they'll shield bash like that. It's usually pretty easy to avoid. Alright, then I like to bust out the Great Chaos Fireball. And if I do this correctly, I like to walk out here so not to get his attention. If you do it with exactly the right timing, you can kill him with two hits with this thing. Because he'll get hit. There we go. And if it... Ah, oh, it didn't work. Sometimes that a little extra damage will be enough to kill him, but sometimes it doesn't stay around long enough. Anyways, 
One more hit should do it. So there you go. And then you just come over here where the blacksmith is. Um, you have to unlock this door from the other side if you haven't done that yet. Uh, but you can fight these guys. I hate them. They're super annoying. Their lightning damage gets through your shield a little bit, but whatever. Not enough damage to really worry me. Kill a couple of these guys. They get 500 souls apiece, so... Let's pin them up against the wall here and kill them. And if you really want to, there are two more down there, so that's an extra thousand souls. And then if you go across to the other side, there's three more over there. So that's another 1,500 souls. So if you go the extra mile, you can get another you know, 2,500 souls. And then you come in here, use this real fast, and talk to the blacksmith. And you can purchase from him uh, titanite shards, large, titan uh, large titanite shards, green titanite shards, and twinkling titanite. And these should be good enough to upgrade your stuff to the point you need it to be. Um, so let's look at some of my, like, my armor. So I need titanite chunks to upgrade the knight, uh, the elite knight armor set, but I'm saving titanite chunks now to upgrade my Uji Katana up towards plus 15. So I'm not going to worry about upgrading the armor anymore because I don't want to waste titanite chunks. Now, those big giants, uh, the blue ones, they will actually drop titanite chunks fairly often. I mean, it's a rare drop, but it's not that rare. So you can get a lot of titanite chunks from doing this um, kind of soul grinding here in, in Orlando as well. They'll, and they'll drop them fairly often, so keep that in mind too. But I'm not going to continue upgrading this um, because it's not my final armor set I want to wear anyways. And then you need twi uh, Twinkling Titanite to upgrade um, this set of armor and the Silver Knight set of armor. If you pick that up here and you like to wear that, you need Twinkling Titanite to upgrade that as well. You also need it to upgrade the two shields that I'm using, which are the Black Knight Shield and the Crescent Shield. I believe that's what they're called. Anyway, so, I mean, I have the souls, I might as well do this. I'll buy two, uh, Twinkling Titanite. Let's see what I can upgrade here. Yeah, I'll upgrade the armor again. There we go. Sweet. So, anyways, that is, uh, what I've been doing. Um, and so, yeah, we'll take a look at my equipment one more time before I end the video here. So I got my Lightning Washing Pole to plus five. I also got my Uchikodano to plus 10, and Quelag's Fury Sword to plus 4. Um, I will be getting the Ember to upgrade this further, and I have Titanite Chunks to upgrade it with. Um, I'll go get some more um, Demon Titanite to upgrade this to plus 5, which is as far as it can go. Um, and then I got both of these shields to plus 5. I also upgraded the Elite Knight. Uh, chest plate to plus eight and the rest of the equipment to plus six and then upgraded started upgrading the black armor set as well and it I, I believe the black armor set only goes to plus five the elite armor set this stuff goes to plus ten but I believe the black iron armor set only goes to plus five with twinkling titanite so there you have it um, those are the preparations that I've made um, you can choose to do this soul grinding or not it's up to you um, it's not necessary, but if you're new to the game and you're really struggling thus far um, with following along with the videos, you're having trouble, um, I would definitely suggest doing this, upgrading your, your equipment. Um, it will help you a lot in the late game areas. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being beasts. If you have any questions, just go ahead and uh, write me a comment below. And in the next video, we'll start moving on to some of those late game areas. Um, don't leave in Orlando, though. I think I'm actually going to go to an area that is connected here in Anorlando. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.